last series, Twister carved a path of destruction, making its way to the final and beating Static. So let's relight the flames because I sense a storm brewing. How good is it to be back in the virtual world? That's right, just shut yourself off from the rest of the world and focus on these 12 group battle stages. We have the reigning champion and lethal weapon in Heat 1. Heat 2, we see Ramsey, the third seed. Can it make its way through to a third consecutive grand final? Trackers leads Group 4. Group 5, what a daunting task for each robot there. Chaos 2 will lead, but my goodness me, anyone could win it. Daisy Cutter 2 leads Group 6 with newcomers The Shining. And also Simon is a newcomer with Captain Pirates, the fifth seed, just missing out on the series grand final last year. And Jolly Roger leading Group 8. Jaws, a previous champion, leads Group 9 with newcomers Beast of Bodmin, Pussycat and Road Rage, and Bronchi leading Group 10. And our last heat featuring Decapitator and Static. Can Static do one better? Losing out to Twister for the ultimate prize last time. But let's focus on Group A. Speaking of which, Twister 2 leads first with Dave. It's like we've never been away. First up, Twister 2, the reigning champion, should come out of this fight no problems at all with Dave on the other hand got to the pool but never beyond the heat three two one activate twister then the surprise package from last year the defending champion let's see what sort of surprises awaits in the third series of megabots it's amazing to see Dave oh Dave! Dave! Alright Dave, your, your robot here. You know, it was built by a friend called Dave years ago. Oh my goodness me. They've just knocked out Cease. the reigning champions. Am I, oh, do my eyes deceive me? They're going to get the full three points. I do not believe that. Well done, Dave. First shock of the series, and we've only had one fight. And we're going to see another. We have Jean versus Real Thor. The favourites here, Real Thor, getting through to two semi-finals. Three, two, one, activate. I think unlucky not to be seeded, Real Thor. It's twice hit the pool stages with six points and subsequently going through on each series to the first round, losing to Jaws in the first series and Ramsey in the second series. So Thor for me, real Thor that is, already in control and dominating as we knew it would. Poor Jean, yes Jean is yellow, returning again. Didn't do much last series, Jean. It only ended its group with three points. Of course, didn't qualify. And at this race, it looks like it'll be doing the same again. As you can see, and just quickly, briefly go over. It's three points for a win, two points for a judge's win, one for a judge's loss, and zero if you lose. And now we see Cease. that Jean will get the big fat zero. We are looking for a heat winner in each group. And there we can see confirmed. Well, the reigning champion and Twister 2 are going to have to work miracles now as we move over to Group 2. And Lethal Weapon again, what a fantastic season they had last time. They are first up in the arena versus the flammable yet entertaining Deator. Now with Lethal Weapons, Lethal Weapons, Deator of course with Fur doesn't seem to be too much of a contest here. The seed should be okay here. Three, two, one, activate. Of course, Lethal Weapon's Lethal Party trick is presenting very nicely on screen right now <laughs> as it comes in. 
Now oh, then, what can we see here? Deators never escapes the group stages. It's uh, his best performance was four points last series. Of course, Lethal Weapon had a brilliant run to the grand, well, nearly the grand final. They lost to Ramsey just the, the stage just before the grand final, the, the round two of the, the semi finals. But before that, in the first series, they only won three points. They barely even qualified for the second series. They did so well, it's so entertaining to watch as well. Deator doesn't quite know what to do. A lethal weapon coming in with a lethal spin. Coming around. Oh, it's so control. Now, one thing you've just got to bear in mind with lethal weapon is that it doesn't have a self rising mechanism, and you wonder how it got so far last time without meeting a flipper. It's just that. It didn't meet a flipper. Now then, Deator is. You know, fur is disappearing. Catching fire, dissipating as the torch billows through and the flame thrower too. Lethal combination. That's why they call it lethal weapon. As you can see. Okay. Who is winning at the moment? Deator trying to get the flip in. Flip lethal weapon up and over. Just gonna have to be careful to see if it does go to a judge's decision. I don't I think lethal weapon doesn't like it just, just lacks complete control they are the most experienced of the two though out there you wouldn't think it would you ah now the sound you can hear in the background is the pit of oblivion descending so lethal weapon has to be very careful and not to kill itself and give a lethal dose ending in the pit i don't think so no Cease. both have survived to go to a judge's decision well for me for me uh, i think lethal weapon should get this no surprises here there we see it deator gets the one well done Medusa and Thor are next in the arena. Yes, this is fake Thor as opposed to real Thor that we've just seen. Coming in, the lightest in the heat, Medusa with a lifter and spike. No real experience here between the two. Three, two, one, activate. Thor returning and Medusa also returning, but uh, like I said in the introduction there... Oh! <laughs> flip. That was back control. Thor flying. Trying to get up to the gods and the thunder and the clouds. And shooting back down with a big lightning bolt into Medusa. It's a Thor and a Medusa. There's two gods in itself, that, isn't it? Which god will you be backing here? Anyway, as I was saying, neither robots have really shown any... No standout killer knockout punches tend to get by, go to a judge's decision maybe, but there's no real clear wins between these two. Thor, of course, can self right with the axe. Medusa has no self rising mechanism. Now, both robots really could do with a win here, just to give them that little distance between them and the competition. Three points, incredibly vital for a first battle here. <laughs> What's Medusa doing here? Seems to have spent most of this fight just toying with Sir Killalot there. What's he doing? She doing even. Look at she... <laughs> Now, I'd love to see that. I don't think I've ever seen Sir Killalot fly out of the arena. Bash flew out last series. But uh, we've never seen the big daddy of them all, Sir Killalot, fly out of the arena. Well, his head's come off though. <laughs> Medusa's done something. Medusa's still got her head on. I have to admit. Thor. Not really sure what the score on the door is. Oh, where I'm going with that one. Sorry. <laughs> oh, Medusa. Oh, sorry. The frozen graphic there. Now, who's won that? Oh, it was a three. A cl clear three points for Thor. Sir Killer had enough. I don't blame him. Medusa. Stick to fighting a robot next time. Now. We move over to a slight change to our ultimate challenge. Things are getting rather chilly as we venture up north to the Siberian wastelands. Now, the aim of the game is simple. Just destroy the waste. We have two robots that will be going head to head. And they've got to basically run into as much as they can and destroy and create as much carnage and we'll be tallying up the score in the corner here. It. First up is Terror, it's a panic attack. It's really simple, think of collateral damage. 
Now then. And the computer will be tallying up every barrel hit. Okay, so there's one. Of course, you can probably guess how many each robot will destroy, but um, really what we want is an odd number, so at least we know that there will be a winner. Panic attack moving across. There's, I think, probably two there for terahertz. What's panic attack doing? He's having a world with dead metal over there. And terahertz is... Yep, dead metal comes into play and terahertz gets blown up. The, the bombs are hidden in the... This is why we need to uh, destroy all this nuclear waste in Siberia. The bombs are active. There is a silo in the middle there as well. You've got some weather hazard. What's going on here? I think there's inter interference going on. Ah, panic attack. There we can see finally getting onto the board. I'm assuming terahertz there. Oh, nearly kicked. <laughs> this is a brilliant, brilliant arena. Locked away in the wilderness of Siberia that we don't never really get to see. Shunt now having a go. Look at this. Flipping <laughs> all over the place. This is great. Just entertaining just to watch them being blown about like nobody's business. Now, panic attack. There we can see another barrel goes. And the winner will go through to the heat semi finals later in the, on in the series. Look at this. Barrels all over the place. It's the cease finally sounds now then seven in total which means we do have a winner uh, how does that divide between the two the computer is now finalized their panic attack only just gosh they were behind for most of that well done panic attack still plenty of good robots to come like chaos 2 Hypnodis, De Behemoth still open as we move back over to group one and next up it's the reigning champions versus Jean three I can't believe I'm saying this, but Twister 2, desperate for points here, and Jean, they've both lost their first battle. So really here, there we can see the pushing power of the reigning champions, and again, toying with poor Jean. Look at this, another slam into the arena now then, something's come off Twister here, this is very, oh, aggressive fight here now, of course, the reigning champions Twister having everything to prove here, to prove that they are the defending champions and they've got a score to settle. They want to defend that crown as so many other virtual robots do. Oh, don't know. Just all fun and games, isn't it? This? this is all good stuff. It's great to have this going once again. The third series of Megabots as Jean is being tipped. Thought Matilda then had it. Oh, nearly out the arena, twitting and turning. Well, Jean did a pirouette in that CPZ. <laughs> Still offended. Well, look, Twister here now surely will bag the three points. I can't see them losing this now. Jean completely naked. It, it used to be yellow. <laughs> Shunt coming in to add insults to injury. The Twister brewing in that arena. Jean being sucked up into the heavens and sucked into oblivion. I look at it. Look at this. Twister 2 just had its arm shredded. Arm is all gone and finally. Well, we got there in the end, Twister. Blimey. That'll be a clear three points. Matilda's seen better days. There's now. Jean. Jean is over. Cease. Jean. Feeling blue, even though it's yellow. <laughs> That's three points for the reigning champions. Twister confirmed there. Jean, I don't think, can qualify. We'll soon see. Next up is Dave and Real Thor. Three. I briefly mentioned that Real Thor are lucky not to be seeded here. I said they've uh, never failed to reach the semi finals, surviving the pool on two occasions and making the semi finals on both occasions. Can it make the hat trick here? I mean, surprise package here. Dave, who really has come from nowhere. It, it's first and second series their maximum score was five points both series five points yes they went to the pool last series but they didn't get any further can dave let's go dave do the damage dave 
do the damage, Dave. Over on the floor floor. Oh, dear me. Well, that backfired on poor Dave. Real thought now can do all of the aggression, the attacking, because Dave can't do much. It's on its, on its back, Dave. <laughs> it's a nice position to be in, is it? Sergeant Bash now coming in. I think this is all over for Dave, unless Bash somehow manages to accidentally sell right, Dave. We'll be looking at a KO and another three points here for Real Thor. Real Thor here, now the favourites to go through. Yes. Oh! <laughs> Where's Bash gone? Oh, he's there. <laughs> well, Real Thor ended on six points, both first and second series. And at the moment, they've made the hat-trick with another six points. Well, well, well. Let's move over to Group 2. Leading as our seeded machine, Lethal Weapon is now against Medusa. They meet in the arena. Let's see what happens next. Three, two, one, activate. Well, Medusa, two heads are better than one, that's for sure. Got two eyes at the back as well. I mean, should be able to see from all corners. Not really worked so far, has it? As Lethal Weapon does its thing, the seeded machine <laughs> delighting the crowd with its spectacular display of flames and fire and craziness, really. Just Medusa has to avoid attacking Sir Killalot, but for whatever reason decided to sacrifice points in its last fight to fight kill a lot pick on someone your own size I think as <laughs> meanwhile as I dribble on lethal weapon is all over the show getting right stuck into the armor there of Medusa Medusa coming back from the second series like I said they only ended on oh dear, only ended on three points last time it looks like to me they're gonna do even worse they're desperate for points <laughs> now then going back into Sir Killalot Zoe's going to love that because <laughs> based on the attack Medusa did last time <laughs> I think is that a KO here for Lethal Weapon I think it is now nah, Sir Killalot getting his own back ooh yes I think it is <laughs> there it goes Cease. oh <laughs> Lethal Weapon all over the place that's great stuff isn't it I just don't know what's going to happen next to you on this show. But there we can see, just confirmation, the three points for Lethal Weapon and now takes the top spot. Deator and Thor are next for war. Hard to pick a winner here between them, but of course we know that Deator desperate for some points they need a, a clear KO here they come hammering in now on Thor I'm trying to use the flipper if it does go to the judge's decision if we do get that far Dieter are going to have to up their, their game when it comes to aggression because they don't have the weapon to use for damage for the moment I mean Matilda is just coming out of her shell again she needs a makeover said though, Deator and Thor both losing armour here by the gallons, there's no fur left on Deator, and Thor here, well it's using its weapon is it, is it doing anything to the chassis, it, it's done the, the trick it's completely peeled off all that fur, so the weapons worked, we go in towards Shunt, into the corner patrol zone here, now Thor can it do one better, can either robots here progress? and do one better than they have done in the past. Not really performed. Off goes the axe of Thor. Oh! <laughs> hey, are these robots now completely recognisable? No. No, Deator is just a shell. Watch the pit. The pit opens up. Roboteers, beware. It's a uh, gaping hole in the floor here now. It's ready to swallow one of these robots up, but we are going to that judge's decision unless something ridiculous Cease. happens here. No, it's not. Too late! 
Tito nearly in. Oh my goodness me, who's won that? I haven't got a clue. Thor? No! No, the judges think Deator was more aggressive there. Fair enough. Well, that's pretty close, isn't it? That group now. We go to our last two fights of group one. And it's Dave versus Jean next in the arena. Three, two, one. Well, if Jean gets a clear three points here, they're all going to be on three, apart from real four, of course, but that's kind of really... I don't mind you saying that, if Dave get a clear three points here, they'll be level with real Thor, and that'll leave Twister needing a clear win to at least join the other two on six points. This is all ifs and buts though, oh my goodness me, what would happen if, if three robots were on six points? Well, anyway, I don't think that has ever, anyway, I'm jumping the gun here, anything could happen, but at the moment, we're on route to that, because Dave now is about to get six points, because Jean... If they lose this, Jean are out. They won't be able to qualify because they've lost two matches in a row. Cease. Oh, well, Cease has been called just in time as Dave is tipped over by Shunt. Shouldn't affect the judge's decision. That's a clear win, I think, for Dave. Look at that. Jean out, I think. Twister and real Thor. Goodness me. Three. Now, a bit of a grudge match here. Twister lost to Real Thor in Series 1 of the third heat, back when Twister 2 was maybe a little less experienced than it is now, of course. And at the moment, look, we can see here Twister 2, the reigning champion, thwarting Thor. And the winner, I can tell you, will be red. Yeah. Now, this really, I don't really know what the outcome is going to be here because, okay, if Thor get the clear three points, Twister I don't think can qualify, but if Twister win, I think we're going to have three robots on six points. Jumping the gun again, but oh my goodness me, we could have a situation that's never presented itself in Megabots and at the moment... Twister is on its way to making the judge's decision quite tricky when it comes to deciding who's going to escape and go through as winner here for Group 1. Look at this shunting all over the place. Talking of shunting, in comes Shunt to do its own bit of housework. Shunting itself and look at this. Thor here. Ooh, now then, the reigning champion Twister 2 is in all sorts of trouble. Oh my goodness me. A little bit longer there. The reigning champion could have been going out. This is all too very close. Too close for Twister's comfort, I think. Now the pit hasn't descended yet. That would have been ideal for Twister 2. Is he? Oh, it's descending and down goes Thor. Six. Well. This is going to be a pickle, I think, because now we have just confirmation here. Six points, three robots on six points. This is a first on Megabots. I'm just confirming my notes here, man, and what we're going to do. Now, okay, the judges apparently are going to decide this based on the quickest time they KO'd, because, of course, they all won two fights, and, of course, they all beat each other and lost to each other so there's no way we can really separate them only then adding up the amount of time it took for them to KO their opponent across the group in total this is so across all the fights that they won oh my goodness me ah oh, I'd have a feeling I don't believe it we've lost the champion I don't believe that Dave 41 seconds it took to KO two robots real Thor comes second I'm st I'm stunned. Dave, group one winner. We have lost the reigning chat. Well, no, not reigning anymore. We have lost Twister 2. Real Thor for a third consecutive time on six points. Goes into the pool. Goodness me. I'm stunned. Three.
we, we've actually lost Twister. We've lost the champions. Well, well, well. Were you expecting that one? Let's <laughs> just do a backflip. And really, this is just full of surprises. <laughs> Medusa is again sacrificing points to have a go at Sakilalot. What on earth are you doing now? Dieter actually lost to Medusa in Series 2 on a judge's decision. And at this rate, revenge is going to be sweet because Dieter is going to win because for some whatever reason, Medusa is just attacking Sakilalot again. Am I dreaming this heat already? Have we started the new series of Megabots on such a... I don't know. I don't really know. I'm, I'm actually lost for words. We've started the series on, on such a, a high and now we've gone, would you call it a low, that we've now lost the champion and now the, 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 the board is completely wide open. We're going to have a new champion of Megabots. And I'm saying that in the opening 26 minutes of the entire series I'm rattling on. But my goodness me, that has never ever happened. We have always had the champion at least get to the semi-final stage. And it's just not going to happen this series. Who is your money on then for the whole tournament now? <laughs> this is interesting. Medusa. I'm going to put Medusa. Medusa. Come on, Medusa. You need to win this fight need to win it because that would be two wins in a row against Deator. Deator, you need to, to win to, to get a bit of revenge back from the last series. Oh! <laughs> oh, I don't believe it! Four seconds! Jeez. Four seconds to go to a judge decision. That could be the difference between first and second place. Any more surprises around the corner? Three, two, one. Activate. Well, poor Deator, that's two in a row they've lost against Medusa. Um, so what can we see here? Lethal Weapon now, the only seeded machine left in the, uh, the heat after the sudden departure of Twister 2. Yep, I'm mentioning it again because it is sudden, totally out of the blue. Okay, it was it was very, very close to, the, to decide that, but they're out. Anyway, Thor now getting a hammering here by the number seven seed's lethal weapon as it uses its rather lethal attack there. You can see it's shredding Thor's armor. That's me. And again, oh, what's come off there? I think with the horns there of Thor, they've come off from the destruction of lethal weapon the lethal dose of destruction that it's dishing out to poor Thor in the arena and then of course Matilda there adding insult to injury spinning around it's me lethal weapon surely on top here and you can hear the uh, siren going off that's the pit descending as we do go to another judge's decision here for me, this is Lethal Weapon. Please, no final twist in the tail here. We can't have another seed dropping out so soon Cease. in the competition. Oh! Well, if the fight went any further, yep, it would have been the case. Two points awarded, which means Lethal Weapon end the group on seven points. Thor comes second. So that's a good result for Thor. They've done better than last year. And there we can see confirmation in semi-final two. Seven seeds, lethal weapon. Enter the semi-final. Look at that. Thor and real Thor in the pool. They could still go through. That's pretty high scoring. Heat highlights. Goodness me. Hard to pick. There's been so many. It's got to be Medusa's battle with Killalot. But the highlight of the heat. Two robots, lethal weapon and Dave going through. Twister out.